guys welcome back to another episode of going medieval so i think i got that down pat now finally uh that's good so uh today i think what we're going to start working on well hopefully we'll have our research done i have someone working on that i think let's just double check uh research yes we have high priority for research so i figure what we'll end up doing is hopefully i'm not sure how much books we have actually it looks like our shelves are just about full as well uh, we got... Yeah, we're almost full on that one. Yeah, we're probably going to need a new shelf, uh, for sure. So, I did expand the library a little bit more. I took down that other room down here, and I moved the restoration church down here. I think what we'll do today, though, is start building the actual church for the restor restoration. I can't remember what the, <laughs> the word is. But, um, yeah, we'll basically build a remake of this church. Uh, we should have enough wood. If not, then we can always chop down more. Oh, and we had that raid last episode, so hopefully we can get rid of these bodies and put them over at the corner of the map to for wildlife and stuff like that. It looks like some of our um, animals are already doing that, so... Oh, and there's a wolf there. We'll have to take care of that uh, pretty shortly. Alrighty then. So let's go ahead and um, we'll start production on a few things. Uh, we should probably get... So, I think, let's check here. Yeah, so we'll leave those for all those other items, so they can be put in here. Uh, we should probably, debating if I should not allow bows in this one. Weapons, yeah, we'll disable range, I think, because that should be on the first floor anyways. Okay, so there we go. And let's go ahead and equip north with that war bow. I'm not sure how much war bow. 42. It's sturdy. It's not. What does he have on him right now? Uh, short bow, fine. Equipped. 2.2 damage. That's a lot more damage per second. Yeah, we'll we'll get him to equip that one, I think. They're about the same in damage, so... At least he can grab something that's useful. We should probably start working towards unlocking some extra ranged items as well. Yeah, bows as well. Okay, let's get rid of that tree there. Oh, and looks like they finally planted that tree there. That's good.
So after giving it some thought, I looked at the size of our plot for the church here, and I decided that with the graveyard, it's going to take a little bit more room up. So we need at least, I would say about nine extra blocks, right? So rather than have it over in this corner here, what I did, there wouldn't have been enough room to bring the path around over to this side. Uh, with the graveyard there so and then we already built the house there so it wasn't really viable so what I decided to do is move the church over here and then we can put the graveyard on this side which should work um, it's right across town pretty much right so we can even create a path going through here I think that would work out pretty well and yeah so I basically just got them to start building that and downstairs I told them to start building more shelves uh, because we're getting pretty full on capacity for our actual food storage. So I thought maybe it would be a good, good time to actually start building some extra shelves for some of the resources that we have down here. Uh, mainly the medicine, uh, like the, uh, what do you call it, the herbs, uh, medical packs, stuff like that. And those can go onto these shelves here. And then we have uh, some extra food storage along here. Our regular food storage for the cooked food is on that side. Extra food storage here. And that's kind of just like regular storage for things that we don't really want exposed, like furniture and stuff. And then over here I added uh, six more, or pardon me, three more um, uh, linen slash leather storage blocks that we can hopefully get some of this stuff off the floor with. It's just more efficient to have it on the shelves, so hopefully that will work out fine. Anyhow, um, actually speaking of which, where is that dog uh, that we had? Uh, it was, there he is. Okay, he's still being trained. What is this percent? 70-70%? Um, looks like North is doing a pretty good job at taming it, so that's good. Uh, we also have, um, I started putting in the furniture for this house as well, so the torches and stuff, so I should probably get those all set up. Uh, we'll set that to no wood and no coal, just so we can use up some of these sticks. We always have too many sticks, so we have a huge supply of sticks over here that we can use for the fuel and stuff. And um, it's just generally better for building and stuff because they build out a lot out of wood a lot more. So it's good to have the extra stuff. Oh, and I purchased um, carrots, uh, I believe a few other things as well. So we should have good stock of stuff.
Alrighty then, progress update. So we got almost the 100% trained for this um, female dog that we bought a while ago. I also added some paths along here and I put the cemetery on this side because I figured we won't have anything really here for building because of the crop field because I want to give that uh, buffer zone for the, the roofs and stuff. This might give a little bit of shadow over on this one. I'm not sure just yet. Um, if that's the case, we can probably move one or two over onto this side. I'm not sure what we'll need to kind of shift over, but we'll figure it out. Um, and then the cemetery can be here. Um, over this way, I don't know what we're going to pro probably houses on this side, no doubt. Um, or other buildings that are fundamental and I think what we'll end up doing is basically going ahead and removing the wooden fence and putting in a stone one like I basically commissioned over here just so it's a little bit nicer than the rest of the other buildings and stuff so I think that's what I want to do with it um we could also do maybe like a fence that goes along here to here just a wicker one uh, we don't really need anything too fancy, but hopefully that will kind of direct them over to the um, actual thing. I'm not sure if that will be the case, so we'll see. Uh, I need to find the fence, though. Uh, it's somewhere in here. There we go. So, we've got tons of sticks, so that's not an issue. And if we bring it down to about here, and then up to here-ish then up to there we can just kind of fence off that area um yeah, that might work i don't know we'll see if not then it's at least aesthetic uh it'll look like it'll look really good for aesthetics wise so uh, we'll go ahead and turn that into a corner piece okay so as far as this side we'll probably end up putting a path over to that intersection here or will be an intersection um but i don't know how much cobble we, we, we should have plenty of cobblestone or limestone i think we just mined a whole bunch out that needs to be transferred <laughs> they're kind of going on in between and stuff like that but um you know it's it the, the digging process is quite slow but we will need quite a bit for these about 40 each so just trying to figure out how much we're going to need because those are the better uh, grave ones, uh, the sarcophaguses, and we'll probably put... Guys, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. We got most of that church built. We started running a little bit low on wood, so I wanted to um, 
chop as many trees down as I could. Uh, there's just a lot of logs and stuff that need to be picked up, but we have about 200 um, in our pile, at least what I saw last. So yeah, about 200. Um, he's also we also are getting about a little bit more trees from harvesting over here. It is summer, so we're probably going to be able to grow the trees once and then we're going to have to basically prevent them from basically replanting um, just in case um, that winter comes along so I figure that will probably be the best option to do but we'll see how it turns out uh, I'm not sure if we'll have enough time or not but as long as they get to about like this stage or whatever they should be fine so uh, I think it's the young stages when they're um, fine for weather uh, crops, on the other hand, we need to start planning what we can grow and not grow. So we're on day four, so we're going to have to start figuring out what um, we can grow here and stuff like that. So uh, it takes like 12 days for, I think, the lifespan, but uh, the harvest stage is only like four days, it says. So that's not too bad for that one. Uh, beetroots, four days. Um, these ones are seven. Uh, that will bring us into basically autumn, so I have that disabled. And this one is four days, so that's not too bad. Five days for that one, that can go still. And I think this one is a little bit longer, I can't remember. Uh, eight days, yeah, so probably want to disable that now. All right, anyhow, um, we got a lot of stuff done today. We got the path tons of paths made um we got some planning done and we're doing really good on wood and stuff so anyhow if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out